Hello everyone, my name is Frank Apicella and today we're going to go over how to add, uh, I think it's called like icon fonts. Uh, so we're going to add some social media icon fonts to the footer here and then also on the speaker page here I want to add them to each uh, individual profile here. I might add them out here as well, we'll see. So why don't we get started. There's a website called icomoon.io which is, and then you go to app here, start the app, and this is one of the free ones where you could, after this loads, where you could select a group of icons and then export them. Now I believe I have an exported, uh, where is it? Bear with me one second. Yes, I think I'll just use this one. Yeah, I think this has everything I'm going to need. Okay. So we're going to use this one. So that when once you download it from here, it'll come in a zip file where you open it up and it'll be this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to this is our template directory for WordPress. We're going to take and drag the fonts in. I'm going to open up this style sheet. I'm going to select all of it. I'm going to go into styles, add a new file. I'm going to call ICO moon less. I use a less CSS preprocessor, so uh, that's why I'm doing it this way. I think we're good on that. We can save that. Now, what I need to do is uh, go to my style sheet and include it. Here. Right, so now it's included. Now, let me open up so we can close that. We can close that. Right? We can, we don't need this anymore. We do need this. So I'm gonna add. Uh, oh, you know what? Eh. I do want to add a couple things here. So why don't we do this? I want to import it back to ICO Moon. import icons right now uh, if you want to make modifications to the file you already uploaded this is the way you would do it you go to wherever your font I think you just upload the SVG right and everything's here all right because I wanted to add a couple more so uh, yeah, this is the one I want to add Google Plus. Uh, both of them. I wanted to add uh, Facebook. And I think that's it. If we needed more, we can add more. So. Uh, We have arrows. I think I want to add this to and okay, that's fine. So we'll add those and then we'll make a new font. We'll generate the font. We'll download it. I have this new file here. Now let me just open this up again real quick because I want to compare it and close that out. That's the old one. Oh. Delete those. Here's the new one. All right, very good. And it comes out the same. So it's the same codes for each one, I believe. So this one has, yeah, so these are on just tacked onto the end. Awesome. Okay. So this is the one we're going to be using. All right. So I'm going to uh, copy this down here, this LinkedIn one. Now, in order to throw this into your theme, there's a snippet of code. I'll, I'll have a link to a page which explains this. But basically, well, why don't we open up the footer.php first? And down here uh, in social media, I'm going to have the icons here. So I'll have just I'll have a. Uh, 
Uh, I need four of them, three of them. Yeah. All right. And that was Zen coding right there, where you could expand. Uh, there's like a separate code to expand HTML, right? And then I have this, which is a code us snippet and I just put ICO hit tab and it expands whatever I, I have in there but this is the code you're gonna need right and we're gonna post that that code that we had right and then we're gonna come back here and refresh the page and as you can see the little icons down there so we're gonna do the ICO again here and then again here so we have the LinkedIn, the Twitter, and then Google Plus. Leave Facebook out for now. I don't think we have a Facebook page for this particular thing. I'll put in the links at a later time, but just to show you guys, hopefully they're in order here. Ah, oh, where's the. That's interesting. Go back. Oh, that's because I didn't update my fonts. So now here's the new set of fonts. Oops. I have to update the fonts. So I have to replace them all. And then I also have to update this code here, the ICO moon, with this code. So here's the new code. Copy that. Here's the old code, replace it, save it. Everything's replaced. Re oops, don't refresh that, we'll refresh this. And now you can see they're down there. Now I want these a little bigger. So what we're gonna do is change the font size. So social, I think I already have it targeted. Yeah, footer, social, float right, font size 22 pixels. Now these act as a font and these are different things so you change it with font size so there we go. Now uh, as you can see it's giving too much space there so I'm going to change the line height to 1 and hopefully that will, mm, it's not going to do it. I, I think we just need, yeah because I see I like the even spacing up and down. What I can do maybe is float right and then uh, what can I do to make those a little bigger eh, I guess that's fine that's fine for now we'll just leave it as is uh, those are really small though yeah we're gonna make it bigger okay so let's figure this out real quick font size 22 pixels right and then display inline block margin top negative 10 5 pixel let's see if that does anything yeah it brings it or just margin negative 5 pixels 0 negative 5 pixels 0 let's see if that does anything yep Okay, so it took so basically we increased the font size and then we brought this in five pixels and brought that in five pixels. So we're getting rid of ten pixels, five from the top, five from the bottom, and as you can see it lines up pretty good. I want to move these down a little bit, so I'm gonna actually take it to the bottom a little more. We'll do eight pixels to the bottom, and it'll remove some of that on the bottom, I think. Eh, whatever, we'll just leave it. It looked good, didn't seem to change after we did that so that's there now I also want to add them to the individual speaker pages and even in the individual speaker pages uh, I'm not happy with the size of these pictures in the space here so I want to just oop, I want to change that to let's open up this, this again and then we'll go to the, also the actually the speakers page is this page that's the custom template for that that's not what we need we need the single which is the single post for the speaker now uh, right as you can see here if it is in the category of speakers and advisory board we're gonna do column two and column six instead increase that a little bit we'll refresh while we're in here yeah 
that might be a little better but now it's too much room so what we'll do is we'll do alpha no we'll do omega and then alpha so it gets rid of the padding on the left and the right of that maybe that helped a little okay um yeah so now what we can do maybe is put the excerpt here oops maybe that will Well, we now have to do EM. Sometimes in certain fonts, you have to actually tell the EM to be italic. All right, that's fine. And then underneath that, I want the social profiles. So what we'll do again is we'll actually take um, from the footer the first two because we're not going to do Google Plus do the first two here and these will actually be ACF fields so this will be the linked in and this is actually advanced custom fields and this will be Twitter and let me show you where that comes from real quick so as you can see those are showing up there as links now, the one thing I want to do is I want to social single, so on a single page, and then I want to increase the font size as well. Right, so we can go back and see those are bigger. Okay, that's good. I like the color, um, but what we need to do is these don't link. So what I want to do is make it conditional. So this is actually a little tutorial on advanced custom fields as well. So where were we? We're in single. So now we could space this out and then make it uh, ACF if. So if we have a LinkedIn field filled out, then put in LinkedIn right let's get rid of all this white space okay and then oh you know what no no, no, no. let's get rid of sorry let me redo that that was done wrong okay so actually we'll do it above here so ACF if and then we'll put the whole link in there right so if it has if the field of LinkedIn is filled out if you can get that field then we'll put the link and the same thing here ACF if put this one in here if you get the Twitter so now if we go back these will be gone right but let me uh, I think Bob Ackerman has a Twitter so let's see Just real quick, uh, there he is. Let's get his profile. Okay, I'm just doing this for an example. We'll go to posts. Uh, Bob Ackerman. We'll edit it. Now there's nothing here for Twitter, so we'll go to custom fields. Right now, all we have is ones for sponsor profiles. We're going to add one for speakers, or just yeah, we'll just do speakers for now and it'll be for the category is equal to speakers and or the category is equal to uh... Eh, we can move that so it's just speakers we will add twitter and we will add linked linked in as you can see the lower case is the field name which is the one we use to grab the fields in we'll publish that we'll go back to the posts 
We'll go back to Bob Ackerman. Now he's in the speaker category, so those fields should show up. So the Twitter's here. I'm going to put his link in, update it, refresh this page, and voila, here's the link, and it goes to his Twitter. I want them to actually open up a new Windows, so I'm also going to add in target goes blank. Oops. And that is how you put the social profiles into a WordPress theme using advanced custom fields. Uh, it's pretty cool. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you.